welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and now. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, happy Sunday to everyone. Hope you all had a great and productive yeah. weekend. Indeed. Um, it has been raining here yet again. And I want to thank everybody that took the time out to wish me condolences for you all that do not know. Indeed. I announced it on Instagram that I did lose my stepmother and we buried her on last, well, this Wednesday last past. Wednesday, yeah. So, thank you all. And for those that have had us in your thoughts and prayers, we definitely appreciate it. Indeed. Now on to power, power this week. A changed man. Yeah. He went and talked to the pastor. Uh-huh. And now he's a changed man. He's like, yeah. all oh, things become <laughs> new. <laughs> he's gonna take Oh, let me do the YouTube thing. Yeah. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and rate the video thumbs up and or thumbs down. It doesn't even matter because guess what? <laughs> You're already here. Yeah. So you've been counted. Uh -huh. So let's get on into this. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all this like your pastor say, I ain't gonna be before you long. Yeah, they didn't I'm, really give I'm, you a lot. Uh, I'm just going to try to hit it and quit it. But you know how we get doing. We get to talking and going and storytelling. And we might be on here for 30 minutes. But I ain't trying to do that today. I'm not going to talk a lot. <laughs> uh, but like my baby said, oh, ghost and went to church and he don't got saved now. So he going around trying to make an amends, apologizing to everybody, trying to get his life right so he can get rid of his guilty conscience. So that's why he said he over at Angela. So he said, Angie, I hadn't been totally straight with you. I kind of lied to you about why I broke up with you. See, it was this mean man that was after you. And he told me that he was going to kill you if I didn't leave you alone. But I didn't want to tell you that. She was like, why you want to tell me? Because you can't handle it. Can't handle it, true. Yeah. And you go in detective mode on everything. You Then you're going to be looking up trying to figure out who this man is. We know, you definitely didn't want no parts yeah, of Milan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Milan, eyeball eater. So, they talking, and then they kiss. I was like, here we go with this bull skit again. They get ready to go, like you said, we get ready to see the wings on the back of Ghost back again. But she said, you on the couch? I'm Two, in the bed. I'm in the bed, two brushes underneath the zinc. And all night long, them two crazy jokers is tur tossing and turning. I said, just go ahead and buck and get, get it over. I mean, he say you might as well, might as well. So, we see old Councilman Tate, the other snake in the grass, telling ghosts, standard procedure, minority businesses always get audited, so they get ready to audit us. And there shouldn't be a problem unless... There's a problem. There's a problem. So basically, <laughs> let me know yeah, let, what's going on. Let me before know. Before I have to find Look, tell me before I had to find out about it the hard way. Yeah. You know, so that's what he was saying. Control. Yeah, but I'm like, if you working with him, obviously you got to trust that his skit is on the up and up. And you working with him. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> so he apologized to Councilman Tate. So I'm sorry, man, the way that I acted. Over there at the uh, at the fundraiser, you know, I caused a scene and everything, and I just want to apologize to you. And why Councilman Tate was like, "Cut the skit, cut the skit. This is boo skit." What do you have for me? Yeah, what you got? He said, "I tell you what, to make it more solid for you, I'm gonna go and get you 50 G's for your project, man." All right, cool. He, he was like, "Yep, I go for it." Hey, 50 G's, I will shake your hand too. I don't know all money and good money. Huh. Well, some, some days it is. So you got to take, take one for the team. Yeah, I got to take one for the team. Get the 50 Gs. So, Ghost had to go back and tell Tommy, Bruh, Fizz is about ready to order the books. I can't no longer clear, you, clear your money for you, man. And, of course, Tommy, he ain't feeling that. He said, you always come back, you tell me one thing, and you come back and apologize for me every time you got to turn me down. But, mind you, Teresi is over there. Soaking it all up. So when Ghost came in, he said, you know, you know, pretty much, he ain't say nothing, but I'm like, you know, I need to talk to you outside of, and here come Tommy. He is so green. Anything you say. In front of me, you, you can, can say, say in, in front, front of him. him. No, no. But Ghost already told you that he don't want Teresa to know nothing about him. But you know, it's that emotional thing. Yeah. He think he got a daddy. So Teresa ended up leaving. And he ended up going and talking to mock them again. It was like, what the hell is y'all doing? He said, y'all need to cool your jets. Because with this audit bull skit y'all doing, they gonna think I had something to do with that. Are y'all trying to get me killed? Mm. Let me answer that for you. Yes. Yes. 
Cause they, they don't give two flying and they told fucks them. about you. They say, well, yeah. I don't really give a rat's ass about you. See that's, see, that's the reason why we don't like to help the police, man. Nah. Because they really gonna protect the people that's helping them. Mm -mm. If you go out and you tell on somebody and rat them out, they gonna say they gonna put you on that, uh, what's that protection? Witness protection? Yeah, witness but they protection. Don't. But they'll protect you, people still end up dead. Mm, so that's why people don't say nothing. Yeah, so they don't say nothing. So I don't hear no evil, see no evil. Hey? Mm, yeah, we got two cases in our family that's unsolved, and they gonna be unsolved because people ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the dad going to Yeah, you don't. Yeah. That people run around here just as wounded as they can be, but ain't nobody going to tell it. Nope. And they know. Well, I know people know. Exactly. So, um, we see uh, Ghost makes amends with Dre, I guess. No. So, he apologized to Dre and said, hey, I see, man, you're going to be a valuable um, asset to this organization. I can see it now. I want to call the truth. <laughs> Dre said. And Dre was like, you know what? I ain't had nothing to do with coming in here. This is all Tate. He came to me. And that's all we could do. I'm good. So he was seized to walk off. And he was like, um, Ghost was like, no. Nah, I'm for real. We good. And I can get you a job back. And I can get your job back at uh at the Bassett Hotel. He was like, huh? Huh? He, he said, what about the uh, no compete? He's like, I can make those things work. negotiable. So we can work that out. Uh, Dre got his job back. So Dre got his job back. <laughs> and I said, what, what what's is, the angle? What is Ghost going to come and collect? What's, yeah. Mm. What, what's the angle on that? So Dre, I mean, Ghost decided to tell Dre, um, I need you to do something for me. He was like, here we go. Here we go. I thought no strings would say. He said, no, nah, this is actually beneficial for both of us. I need you to kill Jason. He said, Okay, done. He but it's but it's almost like old times, you know, when Ghost gave scratch work, my back because your mama Dre was itching to do some work. So that's right up his alley. And he said, "Okay, I do that for you, but I got something you need to do for me. I need you to take out Diego." Did he say Diego or did he say him and us? Because I, if that's the case, is Dre trying to get rid of Alicia and um Diego? I thought she said a Diego, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but anyway, it's, it's yeah, it's yeah. One of them, at least, yeah, one, at least one. somebody or one of them, both of them gonna gonna get killed. We just don't know who. But the part that tripped me out was really he's not doing you any favors, Dre, yeah, because they were already on the radar anyway. Yep, they was yep, on the radar, get killed anyway. So I'm trying to figure out what's ghost is ghost really setting up Dre? Are we dealing with ghosts? Are we dealing with James? Yeah, is he trying to clear his tracks? Like he said, like he said, he a changed man. You know, especially after his daughter get killed. So is this really the turnaround? Or is this the turning setup? <laughs> yeah, something don't sit something, right with me. Yeah, something, yeah, like my mom said, something just don't sit well yeah, with me. It don't me. sit well with me. <laughs> so now um, we see Dre talking to Ontario. And I'm not sure exactly why they are picking on him, but oh, Ontario. guy. Huh? Remember they said they need a fall guy. Yeah, I was gonna get into that. Okay, uh, that's why they picking on him. Yeah, but but they've been picking on him the whole time anyway. Cause yeah. really, he shouldn't even be in that position. So anything that he gets at this point, he deserve. Cause he actually took the credit for the Alonso oh, kill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So true that. True that. Anything they bring his way, he has to take it because true that. he can't get ratted out to the people in the organization because they were like, hold on, you took credit for a kill that you really didn't, didn't do? do. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's and he was the easy target to pin something on. Yeah, man, he got a good point there. That's a good point. And he's a good translator. Yeah. Dog, that was funny. <laughs> Cause I don't know if you go get to that part, <clears throat> but when um, oh. Dre was all Dre is all over the place. Yeah, in his he, episode yeah. because he's upset because um, Taino's a, a they getting they they getting killed off, and, and then then Alicia um, confronted him. Yeah, it's a lot so going all, on. All that's going on. And he said, and, and, and people trying to set me up, and all this is going on. And I don't understand the goddamn thing these people are saying. So they told him, they say, said, you should have thought about, Chris Amar told me, said, you should have thought about taking Spanish before you got into this business, bro. And then he went on to speak Spanish. And, and Spanky said, maybe you need to put that app I'm on your, your phone. phone. <laughs> I said, we've been saying this the whole time. How do you have an organization full of Spanish speaking people and you don't speak it? Exactly. And <laughs> he was he like, did. somebody tell me what the hell he said. <laughs> so, 
<clears throat> Dre gets him, Ontario, to confess that he know, that he believe that Alicia is the one that set up, set up Diego. She's the one that planted the gun. So from that, he ended up in the chair. Getting burnt up. Getting burnt up. We knew it was so, going to happen, though. Yeah, so I guess this is going to be, I guess, throw Diego off as saying that yeah. we found the person who set you up so that it don't look like it's Alicia them that set him up. But yeah. at this point, he thinks he just lost the gun. Because she's like, when the last time you seen the gun? I don't know. But she planned. But no, because remember, they think, because Dre put it in, um... Put it in Diego's head that Ghost and Tommy might have had something to do with that. That's right. And Alicia That's right. said, what we do not want is a war. war. So you need to take that heat off of some yeah. off of them too and put it on somebody else. Exactly. So the heat got put on um Ontario. Yeah. That's what happened. Yep. So we see him, he got he got barbecued. I mean, <laughs> I said, God don't. And, he and said, they did it common too. They took the bottles and bust them up on his body. You know how man got on you. And the part that tripped me out was Dre gonna look at Ontario and said, "What did she just ask for? A cigarette?" cigarette. <laughs> so you just burnt up your translator, man. Yeah, you done burnt them up. He gone now. So we see old Mr. Tommy um, and Teresa in the car, and he was like, "I need you to watch my back. You see anything crazy? How you handling that ready button to get ready to give me a call to let me know what's going on?" But he just walking across the street to put a tracker on Dre's car. I thought he was getting ready to go in the building and do some crazy skit, Me stuff too. like that. I was like, um, he can see you. All he got to do is say, shh, or something yeah. like that, whatever. And that's like, what kind of organization is Dre and them working that they don't have cameras on the outside of their goddamn building? Yeah. So until they get on the inside, you don't know on the outside? So we all know he was putting a tracker on the car that he got from Angela. Um, but I... I don't understand why he put it on Dre's car, but because Dre, because Dre is gonna take them to the Jimenez. Okay, but the part that tripped me out was he text Angela and said, "All right, you can turn it on now, J Lo." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I have to take it where I can get it in this episode because it was kind of <clears throat> man." So we know that uh, Tommy and Sammy ain't got no job no more, all because of Tommy, because they got five, because Vince fired all of them. He don't trust none of them ninjas no more. Uh. So, Heckle Teresa said, I got your problem solved. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Them jokers are cut a hole out in the middle of the goddamn ramen noodles, and they're going to push the goddamn Coke through the goddamn ramen noodles. He said, this is what, how we used to do it inside the joint. She said, do I ever <laughs> thought that I would be doing something like this with y'all once again? Yeah. yeah. Then he said, so, Sammy is down? He was like, yeah, I already talked to him. I said, Tommy. <clears throat> That's red flag number one. If you don't click You in, was the one that got Sammy fired. Sammy can't. Almost killed. Kill. Yeah, yeah, he gonna trust you. And now, all of a sudden, they gonna help you push your weight? Why? Why? I know that they get money out of it, too, but why you? So, they had the free... <laughs> they had the, you know, when you go to Walmart, you can buy the ramen noodles in the box. It's probably about, about 15, 20 of them in there. That's how they had them. Whole lot of them. Whole lot of sodium. <laughs> yeah, and then and then come to find out, Sam and Teresa talking said, we're going to go ahead and do this for them, and then we're going to turn them over to the feds. Mm, hand them right on over. Go hand them right on over. And I'm like, I see now, because at first I said, maybe Tommy can work without ghosts, but yeah. I'm convinced now he can't. He he don't think. It's like, he, he just be so thinking about pushing weight that he don't think about getting set up. And I'm like... Until it's too late. Until it's too late. And then Ghost got... So that's the reason why Ghost is getting Jason killed because he owed Jason money. Mm -hmm. So that's why Ghost getting him killed. So once again, Ghost is saving it, saving his life. Because yeah. he can't run the money through there to clean it no more. And so 9 out of the 10, when this thing with Sam and Teresa go bad, Ghost going to have to... Try. He ain't gonna never be able to change. <laughs> So you might as well just stay in the drug game. Yeah, we're gonna stay in the game until you go down, cause, cause uh, what you call it ain't gonna let you, let you um, Tom ain't gonna let you be great and get out the game. Mm. Yeah. So we see old Ma. I'm sick of him. Going and confronting Proctor's wife, saying that pretty much if you want your, want to get your kid, I need you to tell me the dirt that Proctor is doing. And I'm like, 
I think at this point, I think, hard on yeah, I think it's personal. I don't think it's no longer them trying to catch the bad guys. It's all became personal. It's a big old game so somebody can be left to stick their freaking chest out. Yeah, I'm like, did he buck your woman or something? I mean, yeah, what happened? Woman? Yeah, did, or did you? Did he beat you in a case? And, and well, I, I think he did. Yeah, did he? Yeah, I think he did. But I'm like, y'all are just y'all just doing too much, man. Too much. So so he showed up at the um. So he showed yeah at Benny yeah been at um Proctor's um cousin Benny's um restaurant. He said, I thought you told me that you ain't you you was up on open said you had nothing else to do with your cousin. Your, your criminal <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now that's perjury right there. And she he was in, and Proctor already knew you talked to my wife, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. And then he said, you know what? I know how to throw her off her rocker. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get her some drugs. And that way, even if she does win custody, it ain't gonna be for long. Yeah. Because she's gonna relapse and she gonna relapse. Yep. Well, Ghost couldn't give her give him the drugs because he was like, hey, can't help hey, me out. I'm a changed man. But I, timing, I don't I don't mess with them narcotics no more. <laughs> I told you I'm done with them narcotics. But Tommy, Tommy can help you out. That guy dog Proctor went over there and gave that woman them drugs. And she threw it back she out the street. She fall for it. I said, oh, gave her some um gave her a check and, and some dope on the side. Yeah, I, I I was like, why in the hell did you do it like that? You look you look you suspect. look like you were setting her so up. So I thought I thought maybe he was gonna send Tommy over there to try to sell her something. That's what I thought he was doing, but I didn't know he was going to personally deliver it to him. And then he picked it up off the ground, and I said, whatever you do, Proctor, yeah. don't get picked up or don't get questioned by Mark right now. Yeah. Because you got it on you, bro. Exactly. But he picked it up, and we didn't see him no more. He might have smoked it himself. I, didn't he have a problem at one time? I with think the he did. Yeah. So we see uh, Ghost trying to get in touch with Tariq, and Tariq is failing to answer the call. He wants no text. He wants no call. Ghost trying to apologize. He said, I want myself. I'm sorry for acting out, going crazy. So I actually think at this point, I think Ghost wanted to tell Tariq the truth. But I just don't know if he going to give him the 100% authentic truth or is he going to give him the replica truth. I so, think now he'll give him the truth. You think so? But like Tosh even told him, skipping ahead, <clears throat> you do all of this because it makes you feel better. Yeah. What about doing what was right? Because it's because? right. Yeah. Because like when he was talking, like you said, when he was talking to Tasha, when he was apologizing to Tasha, he's, and he was like, I feel like I was the one that pulled the trigger on the gun. And he said, here we go with the basket. It always still ends up about you to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we see uh, Kanan go to the school and pick up Tariq. To go Did y'all see that haircut though? Yeah. He had that jump was slick. That's how we used to do it back in the day. Maybe, maybe 50 trying to bring it back. He ain't got no friends. He's empty inside. <laughs> that what Lacey stole him. <laughs> Having trouble connecting with people. Some Bolter can help. Some Bolter can help. <laughs> now I would have loved to see him this episode. They ain't pay him enough though. Yeah. Kendrick said, "Hey, I'm a humble man, uh -huh. but I need my coin." <laughs> yeah. So they go do a job with this white dude, and this white dude gonna talk about some, you know, the market done change, prices have dropped. Is it stop? So we need to, you know, kind of renegotiate. I was like. Him. In the drug game, they no such thing as renegotiating. Yeah, he said Whatever the deal said. was, you gotta come through with the deal. And he got his A he whooped. I knew it was coming. Me too. Knew it was coming. Tariq picked up the money and they all jetted. Yeah, and I can see Tariq is definitely transforming because at first when Tariq would see something like that, he'd be he flinch, he jet like he'd be tore up. He ain't even flinch. He just matter of fact, I think he wanted to hit the dude again. When he walked out, he looked at him like mm -hmm. that. He wanted to hit him again. And yeah, we're throwing the money up like, oop, <clears throat> got it. <laughs> so we see him go back to school, and he end up, because mama, late on, the, um, early in the episode, the dude wanted to buy some of the pills. He wouldn't sell it to him. But now all of a sudden, he went back and he sold him the pills. But it looks like he sold him the whole entire bottle that got his mama's name on, name on it. name on it. But the reason that he did that was because he told Kane that he said, I'm having money problems. I buck my money up. So he was like, well, unbuck it up Unbuck it up then. So that's why he going around selling them. And he told Kane, and he said, hey, there's a market over here. Yeah. Can you get me some more of them but pills? Some pills. I said, oh, my God. Because <laughs> that boy, that white boy was going to pay him $20 per a pill. pill. That's what I heard. Street said value a 30-day supply of pills. That's usually what you get when you go to the farmer. That's like $600 off of one bottle. One bottle of pills. Hit. Tuition. <laughs> <laughs> yep, tuition. 
pay. But you, the part that was funny to me was when they were leaving and the guy wouldn't let them out the gate because yeah. he had got a noise complaint and was like, yeah. did, where did you come from? <laughs> the, all of a sudden, Tariq, <gasps> he said, what's going on with you? Asthma, asthma, asthma. And uh, Kata said, no, we, what we can't do is go around and fluff it around here. You can't get all nervous. And he was like, dude, the I'm, back of the car is weighed all the way down. Sorry, you want you them to check that? that? He, was he was like, like oh, oh okay. you saw that, you saw that. <laughs> So Kata was like, okay, I got but, you. But further let me know, he inching more closer to, like y'all said in the comments, Ghost Jr. is on the rise. You better recognize. And I, I told you, I said, I think once it all pans out, if Kanan makes it out alive, Tariq will be his number two. Yeah. Or, or Tariq or Tariq will start his own organization and, and make somebody good. yep and make somebody else his number two. But we gon' we gon' we gonna see. So then we see y'all. Uh, all throughout the episode, um, Tasha come to find out, um, Angela told her that in a couple days, 48 hours or so, they're going to be contacting you to question you about this gun. And I'm going to tell you what you're going to say. So we see her go into the interrogation room and she thought it was going to be, a, uh, I can't remember the person's name, which I say we can go with names, but it ended up being, <laughs> it ended up being uh, Blanco or Blanca. Blanca. And she was, she got nervous then was like, cause I guess she was prepping for this other person. But anyway, so she had, they had her in there for a long time to the point that Ghost and Angela back at the penthouse, they had their sweating bullets like, Ghost was like, do they really keep you that long? She was like, yeah, that's what they do. They gonna keep you in there for a long time to make you tired so you were rolling, mm -hmm. rolling over because you want to get out that room. So she get questioned and questioned and questioned and it looked at a point that Blanca had set it up so where it looked like Ghost and uh, Angela actually set her up to go down for Ray Ray's murder. Mm, and so she, they could live she, happily ever after yeah, without she, you. Exactly. So she was like, did you know that Angela was the one that pointed out that the bullet was in the goddamn wall? Did she tell you that? And she so you can see Tasha Wheels, you know, flashback wheels turning like, you know what? Maybe them some bees is setting me up. <laughs> Maybe they is trying to take me down and put me out here like this. So I was ready to say, and she said, uh, Blanca said, well, what you can do, if you just confess about everything, I give you immunity. I'm like, God damn, everybody getting immunity around here. They're giving them out like skittles. So Tasha said, I know that Ghost didn't kill Ray Ray. So we see her come back home. She come flying in there. And she pissed. Says, pissed off going to Angela said, you didn't tell me everything. You ain't tell me that you saw the bullet in the wall. And Ghost so, was like, what? Ghost was like, what? Huh? You were the one that pointed that out? She's like, yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and said, they offer me full immunity. Yeah. She said, oh, uh -oh. so that means that this is on some federal level right here. Yeah. Who was the person that questioned you? Blanca. She said, Detective Blanca. Yep. She said, oh, she has a heart out for you. Yeah. What she you, wants she you. She wants you. Yep, she wants you. I said, oh boy. She I was said, like, oh. oh so my. now everybody's trying to figure out. Do I trust this one? Do I trust that one? Then she was like, I don't trust none of them no more. No, then she said, well, why didn't you take the immunity? She said, because the immunity would not help my son. Exactly. So I'll say, otherwise, she would have told, she was telling you, if it was protected point, just me, your yeah, butt would have been both gone. Both y'all been gone, because she would give two bucks about neither one of them at this point. Mm -mm. So Ghost was like, I need to help you out with a plan. We're going to get, she was like, I don't need you. I'm done with your plans. I'm done, done with your plans. I'm done with all y'all motherfuckers. And I'm going to get Silver to lie for me. He's like, how you going to do that? Because he loves me. More than you ever, <laughs> ever have. And exactly. just walked on out in the elevator. She said she was staying in the elevator like you saw how ghosts do it. And he was like. And Angela was looking too like. After Angela said, um, she pulled up a church finger. I think I should go on and leave up on up out here. <laughs> I said, because y'all ain't the only one cheating right uh -huh. here. Because <laughs> you mama ghost don't know that she been messing around with uh with Silver for since since no since he hired her. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I said, I don't know what the heck's going on. <clears throat> so that's how the how the episode ended. So I I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what's going how this is gonna pan out, but it's getting messy as hell. Yeah. And everybody that was like cool is like uncool. It's almost like they to it's like they tolerating each other at this point to get their own agenda done. Yeah, and I don't want it to be like back in the day where Ghost and Tommy start going at each other again and they not yeah. on the same team. Because I didn't like that at all. Yeah, I liked that 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 cool bruh vibe that they got. But now it's almost like 
when I need you, I deal with you. When I don't need you, yeah, I, I just don't care what you're doing. Yeah, but a whole lot of people been saying <clears throat> that this season isn't what they expected it to be. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that too. It's just like, okay, I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready for some real skit to happen, and not just a whole bunch of people killing each other because I'm done with that too. Yeah, but. What, where are we going with this? Yeah, at the end game, who gonna rise, who gonna die? Because that's what it pretty much is. Somebody's gonna rise and somebody's gonna die. Unless the writer's gonna trick all of us and everybody's gonna get killed and somebody out the shadows gonna come that's been behind the scenes like the Wizard of Oz and they're gonna pull back the curtain and say it was me the whole time was setting up all y'all ninjas. <laughs> I don't know, but sure. So I don't know. Day. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.